Hi, you're very welcome. Here you're today with um, Anne Walsh of the Excel Expert. And today we're actually going to look at a feature in Excel called making a cell fixed or absolute, um, or if you need to kind of just essentially fix a cell. So first of all, let me just kind of show you here, I don't know, 10%, uh, 200. And let me just copy this down. Now, if you looked at some of the other tutorials on this website, you would have noticed, for example, that generally when we copy down a cell reference or a formula, um, Excel actually kind of changes the, the cell references within it to, as it actually moves down. Now, that is not always something that we want. And today we're going to look at, well, how would you actually kind of fix a cell? So in this instance, essentially what I want to do is I want to get 10% of 100, 10% of 200, 300, but I don't want to enter 10% into every cell. So let me see what happens if I do it in the normal way first of all. So I'll go equals click here, multiply it by, and then click on the 10% and I press that. Now what happens now, that looks fine, but what, what happens here, and I double click on the corner to copy it down. Right. Now as I regularly say in class, those of you that ever got a pay rise of 10% on 400, you know it was in 240 million. Okay. So let's see what Excel has done here. What we've told Excel to do is take the cell directly to the left, which is B4, and multiply it by the cell directly above it, which is C3, and that's exactly what it does. Now, when we copy it down, it keeps doing the same thing again. So what it does is it takes the cell directly to the left, which is 200, and multiplies it by the cell directly above it, which is 10. So you now have 200 multiplied by 10 by 2,000. And if I copy it down again, it's now multiplying uh, B6 by C5, and you can actually see it up here in what's called the formula bar. Right. So obviously that's not what we want. So I'm just going to delete out those numbers and let's see what happens when I actually kind of fix the cell. So I just go equals 100 multiplied by, click on the 10%. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the C3 cell fixed and I do that by pressing F4 on the keyboard. Now when I press F4 on the keyboard, I get a dollar sign in front of the column and a dollar sign in front of the row. See there, there's a dollar sign just to the left of the C and just to the left of the three. That essentially means that that formula is now locked onto 10%. Now in other tutorials I'm going to show you how you could change that. So for example if you wanted to get a row locked, um, which a lot of people use in companies where they want to maybe have an, a daily exchange rate and they want to copy that across. Or you could have maybe a fixed column if you have a list of you know variables or percentages in here that you want to look at. But just for today, just for this lesson, all you need to know is that when you press F4 you get your dollar signs in there. I press enter click here, double click on the corner, when I copy it down that looks a lot more like it. Right. Now the beauty of doing it this way is that if for example I say oh I actually want to change that to 20%, I'll put in 20, press enter and you see all the figures are changed down here. Okay. Now just for practice um, on the file that's here which is going to be at the bottom of the post where you can kind of download it, there's an exercise there called fixing a cell. All right. And essentially what you're going to, going to ask you to do here is do your auto sum over here on the top right hand corner, copy that down and then I'm just going to ask you to calculate your commission here using this cell reference here, all right? this 10% here. Right. So I hope you enjoy that and you'll know that your figures are right because there should roughly be 10% of each of those there. Right. Now I hope you've enjoyed this demo and if you haven't done so already, could you, you can come over to the excelexpert.com and also download your 25 shortcut sheet. Okay, take care of yourself. Gormahagat Sloan.